Disclaimer, just because we do it doesn't mean you should. Let's talk about sensors for a second because this is kind of really important and uh, one of the things that I'm just like, why UL Power? Why would you do this? Well, so you have all the sensors that I just showed you and they're, they're all listed here in the, uh, in the installation uh, manual. But the thing is, is that there are uh, the optional sensors are going to be your manifold air pressure, your cylinder head temperature, and your exhaust gas temperature sensors, a and like an ammeter, I guess. And so the thing is, is that uh, well, one, I'm not concerned about uh, the the manifold uh, air pressure um, because we're not running like a, an adjustable pitch propeller. So not really concerned about that. So I was like super confused for a while, but so here in the installation manual, it's talking about all of the uh, sensors, recommended sensors, and then the ones that they have. Now the thing is, is like, I don't, you kind of have, to, you got to have cylinder head and exhaust. Well, then maybe not as much exhaust gas, but cylinder head temperatures, because you want to know how hot your cylinders are. So it's like UL power, why didn't you just, you know, include those? I don't know. But the thing is, is that, so, uh, and you'll see this in the installation uh, manual, it says having an EFIS, all this data can be transmitted along RS-232 or CAN bus from the ECU to the EFIS. The only sensors customer need to install are CHT and EGT plus optional MAP, your uh, manifold air pressure or manifold absolute pressure. And then they say, if, the data transmission along RS-232 or CAN bus is not possible, not desired. Customer have to install himself recommended sensors. Okay, and then they go on to tell you the recommended sensors. So they're like oil temperature, oil pressure. Um, those are two big ones. Fuel pressure, cylinder head temperature, EGT, manifold pressure, um, and I guess battery voltage and electrical current. But mainly what I'm concerned about here are these other ones. So anyway, to make a long story short, uh, basically, I, 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 and I still need to like totally finalize this, but what we've decided to do is uh, I think we're going to go with MGL Avionics. And with MGL Avionics, they have a module that will connect uh, to the, to, I can't remember which one it is, but one of these sets of wires to have all the information to then be transmitted to the EFIS, the Electronic Flight Instrument System, screen, whatever. All, you know, your flight, your flight display, because that's what we're going to have. It's going to be like a glass panel, basically a computer screen. And so that's great. So th that'll transmit all this information, but it will not, like you can't really, you can't, you know, coming out of the ECU, you're not going to be able to monitor your cylinder head temperature or your exhaust gas temperature. Now, the other thing is, if you are not doing an EFIS, uh, so if you're just doing like old steam gauges, then what you have to do is install additional sensors because you're not going to get um, you're not going to get uh, oil pressure and oil temperature, and I guess let's see, fuel pressure. I think those are the big three, in addition to EGT and CHT, you're not going to get those um, directly out of the ECU for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, it really seems like it would be a good idea to just, you know, make that happen. There, also, the reason why I'm holding this is because this is the output of the from the ECU. So, speaking of, of which, see, I told you I'd be all over the place. This right here is your main uh, wire bundle. Uh, for the sensors on the engine. I'm not sure what this is for, and I'm not sure what this is for. I think this might go to the aux box, unless this does. I don't know. Like I said, I still have some stuff to figure out. Uh, the aux box, by the way, is the thing that UL Power will sell you. I guess it's really expensive, but honestly, I haven't even been able to find like a price for it anywhere because so it's been kind of hard to find but we're not going to get that anyway but basically that is the thing that's ul powers module that allows 
you to connect those additional sensors into the ECU, I think is, is what that is. Wait, does that make sense? Yeah, 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 it'd be like CHT, EGT, and manifold pressure. Anyway, okay, so yeah, so that's what the aux box is, which we're not gonna get. Um, shoot, where was I? Oh yeah, so this is the thing that actually plugs in. You can see all these pins here, or these, these ports right there. Um, these are the, this is what actually plugs into the ECU, which is just a little computer, it's a little box. And you've got all your, um, all your sensors that run into this bundle, the sensors that we just talked about. And then it also has these babies right here, which are pretty important. And so these are going to connect to your, um, your ignition coils. And that's gonna, these are going to tell you know, when the ignition coils to send, uh, send that pow pow to uh, the cylinders to get ignition to make a spark well to the spark plugs and then the spark plugs are going to spark. So you have all that stuff. This goes through the firewall and it connects to your ECU and then out of your ECU comes this thing and it has all these wires here because you can individually attach these wires to stuff um, or you can use one of these. I think one of, one of these little ports connects to um, the UL read software, R E A D, to basically uh, diagnose your engine and that sort of thing. And then the other one, can't remember which one at the moment, but the other one connects up to your EFIS uh, to give you all of the uh, engine monitoring data that is going into the ECU. Again, it does not include. Uh, cylinder head temperature, exhaust gas temperature, basically any extra sensors that are not on here at the moment. Um, you can't really splice that in unless you get like, I guess the aux box from UL power, man, I really hope that made sense. Cause it sounded like a lot of stuff, but that, cause that's, what's been driving me crazy the past, uh, the past week or a couple weeks is just trying to figure all this stuff out. So that's a confusing part with like the sensors and stuff. Very confusing. So uh, yeah, so in summary, what we've decided to do, what seems like the best option right now is to go with MGL and we're gonna get their uh, ULP RDAC, uh, basically a module, a little black box module. And that is going to um, connect to the, uh, straight out of the ECU and then it's going to uh, send it then to essentially our flight instruments on the screen, uh, our, our, our screen there, it's for engine monitoring. And then, because we want to be able to monitor the exhaust, uh, the exhaust gas temperature and the cylinder head temperature, what we're going to do is get the get uh, MGL's standard uh, RDAC module, they, they call it. And what that does is that that would be like for traditional instruments. And, um, and so what that would do is uh, actually you, you put it on the firewall side of the firewall, and then I'm going to connect the sensors to that and then there's going to be like a uh, what is it like R, I think an RS-232 uh, cable or something some sort of you know just like a single cable it's going to take all that information into the box it's going to go have a single cable going back through the firewall to the uh, like the little eye box which is like kind of the, the little uh, um, you know the little the main box that uh, takes all the information from all the different sensors and then sends it eventually to the EFIS screen. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're basically gonna have to have two modules, but I think it's gonna work uh, pretty well this way. And that way I don't have, you know, I'm trying to minimize the amount of wires going back and forth um, through the firewall and, and back out here to, to, uh, to simplify matters. So anyway, I'll talk more about the wiring stuff once I figure out like more and have more concrete kind of answers. But uh, that's, that's basically the, the gist of the situation. So that, just keep that in mind if, you're, if you have a uh, UL power engine and you want to like hook up your sensors. Um, yeah, it's, it's a bit of a pain and, and it's not very straightforward. And I wish UL power didn't do that. Why did you have to do that UL power? Eh. Okay, if that was confusing enough for you, let's continue. Anyway, I think we covered pretty much everything that's actually attached to the engine right now, and most of, uh, most of what 
comes with the engine. Um, I don't really remember exactly what we bought as far as what, what is strictly just the engine and what was like an additional kind of kit. I think mostly what's on here is what you just get with the engine. But now I wanna show you some of the additional uh, items that we got. 